Good morning everyone. It's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess and it's Friday. Yay! Every Friday is like Christmas to me. I say that all the time. Christmas Eve every Friday. We've got a long weekend here in Australia so we have three days off so I intend making one of them an Yvonne day that's for sure. Um, thank you so much for subscribing to me. Oh! Something wants to come out doesn't it? I was going to say thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Look what jumped. The lovers. Um, <laughs> it's great to have you on board. If you're new, welcome. Um, and thank you to all the people who have been with me right from the beginning. The people who write all the beautiful comments. The people who purchase my readings. The people who donate gifts and money to me. Thank you everyone for supporting me. Um, I still haven't got around to doing some dates, so I'll try to remember this weekend to get some dates up for you for at least one more live. Um, it's been pretty hectic, um, but anyway. All right, I'm ready to get going. I am using the beautiful Creatures deck for your reading. And we have the Five of Cups coming out. Now, the Five of Cups is a card that shows someone walking, well, standing looking at what they've lost. And behind them stands what they haven't seen yet. And behind them there are three spilt cups and in the forward there's two standing up. And what this card implies is that you're so busy looking back at what you've lost in the past that you're not seeing what's right in front of you here. So sometimes if we're sad or depressed about what has gone, we are too busy looking back at the past. The past's gone. It's done. We can't go back there. We can remember, we can visit, but we can't stay. So this card says you need to look forward because what you want is right in front of you. Okay, so behind that we have the star card. Now the star card's come out in reverse in this deck. Um, the star card talks of hopes, dreams and wishes. But I feel like with that coming out in reverse, because I don't always have reversals, I read them if they come out, that's fine. But what this implies to me is that you're so busy looking back that you're missing what's ahead of you in the future. Maybe you've lost your faith, maybe you've lost how you look at things, but this is now on hold, you put it on hold. Um, then we have the Knight of Wands. Now the Knight of Wands can represent the fire signs, but this is the energy of someone moving very, very quickly. The thing is they won't stay. They're only here for a short time. They can be there to teach you a lesson. They can be there just for, you know, fun, but they're not always a person who is going to commit. And behind that, just to see things out here, I have the Page of Wands. Now, to me, this is someone coming in and making you an offer, but you're so busy looking back at the past that you're missing what is in front of you that is good. So the universe is saying, don't be so busy looking back at what you've lost. You have an offer of something new here. Um, and you may not be willing to take it, even though it's a passionate offer because you're looking back at the past. Okay, let's get a good idea of what that's all about. Um, Three of Pentacles coming up first. So the Three of Pentacles is a card that talks of building on something, um, unless you're part of a witch's coven, in which case this is what the card looks like. Isn't it gorgeous? Um, this is about building something. It's about working on projects, Sometimes it's about jobs. You could have some sort of job offer here. Um, but somebody wants to um, give something to you to work on. Queen of Wands coming in. So you could be feeling very attractive at the moment. Very much um, in your own element. You could be a fire sign, Leo, Sag or Aries. Um, but this is about feeling like you feel like a leader. You're ready to take the lead here. You're feeling attractive. Um, and you're feeling like you can take on the world. So it's very much a card of leadership, ownership, um, and being in charge of things. Nine of Swords coming in here. So there's a lot of mixed energy coming out here. So the Nine of Swords is the overthinking card. Um, the sleepless nights because you can't keep your mind still. The worrying, the stress. Oh, Five of Swords coming out. Okay. 
So some of you have walked away from a situation where you don't know whether you've done the right thing or not here. You've taken energy into your own hands. You feel good because you've done what you've done um, and you've moved away from something that wasn't serving you. The thing is, you don't feel that good about it. That's why we're getting the looking back at the past. Now it makes sense. Um, you wanted to work on something that somebody else didn't, which is what sometimes happens. Um, but you're okay with this. You're moving forward. You're sad. You're confused. You've given up what you probably really wanted here, but that's okay. You're moving forward. That's what you're trying to do. Trying to do, I said. Two of Pentacles here. So we do have some sort of decision to be made here. This is about weighing up options, um, looking at both sides of the story, trying to make sure everything is balanced out before you make a decision. Oh, kind of hard to get. Ah, in you are one. I'm not sure if this is an additional card in this deck, but I don't remember seeing it before. It's about authenticity. So I would say to you that this card is saying you have been true to yourself. Ultimately, whatever you've done here, you've been true to yourself. You've seen your own value in this situation. Page of Pentacles coming in here. So the pages are messages. They're not cards of action. They're messages coming in. The pentacles are generally about money, so it could be a message about a job. This could be you walking away from a job that hasn't served you or that you're no longer happy in. Um, it can be walking away from a family member. The page of pentacles always, to me, comes in with a gift. Um, I don't necessarily see it as money. I don't necessarily see it as love, but it's a gift. So it could be something to say sorry. It can be something... Um, you know, to put things right. It could be something just to show you how much somebody's feeling for you. But this is some sort of gift here. Um, something that's going to make a change. Okay, we have two cards there. Okay, Nine of Pentacles coming in here. So you're feeling very good. That's what I said. It, ultimately, whatever you've done, whatever you've walked away from here, you're feeling very complete about it. Um, although she looks a bit sad in that picture. Isn't she beautiful? Look at her. Um, but the Nine of Pentacles talks about, it can talk about financial rewards. So if this is about a job, you've got something coming in here, some sort of offer being made um, for work, for money. Um, for those of you, this is about love. There is this feeling here that although you've done what you've done, you've really fulfilled your own needs. And we do have an Ace of Wands coming in after that. So there's a brand new start here. But it looks like the, and you're celebrating that, which is really good. But it looks like you're sort of feeling very content, very happy being by yourself. I think this is what this is sort of talking about here. So let me just go over it. So we have you looking back at the past with regret. You've lost hope or you're not looking at what you have in front of you. There is someone coming in who's offering something to you. Um whatever it is the offers coming in now as i said for some of you this has a feeling it could be something to do with giving a job away and being offered a new role um whatever it is you're feeling very good about it the cards here show me that even though you're sad you're looking back with a little bit of regret there is a feeling that you've done what's right for yourself um there is some sort of celebration coming in here though and a gift so for those of you who've given a job away, it looks like something's riding straight in behind that to fulfill you. Um, for others of you, if this is about love, it may not necessarily be new love coming in, but it's something coming in to put you in a better frame of mind, to put you in a better place. So whichever way it goes, no matter what it is for you, the universe is saying, don't worry, don't be sort of sad looking back at the past. We have something brand new here we're going to offer you. Be patient. It's on its way. And don't lose hope. All right, we have two cards coming out, so I'll read both of these. The first card is the healer of action, and it says this is a time when you can do whatever you set your mind to if your heart is open. You're being asked to do many things at once. You won't mind as long as you know you're making a difference. This card indicates someone who's loving, intelligent, passionate, and fun, which could just definitely describe you. This person can handle difficult situations with grace. So it's probably this person coming in here. 
Your angels are asking you to make an seven of emotions, the other one here. Your angels are asking you to make an important decision that you've been putting off. It's likely you know which choice you should make, but you're procrastinating. So don't upset someone else. Ask heaven for guidance and then make the choice that celebrates who you truly are. So there you go. There's your What's Cracking read, everyone. Have a fantastic Friday.